Welcome to the video. This video is a subscriber request. We've had quite a few people asking about the upgrade kits available for these things here. Now these are the Quantum V2 goggles. We looked at them a while ago on the channel so you can go and watch the original video there that talked about them and how they set them up. I actually like these things. The view in them is fantastic. The only challenge I've had is that I've always had to have the lens. Uh, it's a Fresnel lens in here. I always had to have the lens at the very back position in order for it to work with my eyes. Now there are two additional things that have come out that allow you to improve these things. Hobby King have obviously been listening to the feedback and it looks like there might be a new version of these coming out anyway. This information around and stuff leaking out about something called the V2 Pro. So it looks like we might be getting a slightly updated version of these guys anyway. Those of us that already have one of the original Quantum V2 kits to take it up to a Pro. Now here we have everything as standard. We have my little homemade head tracker in the top. We I put the battery in the side. And the two things we're gonna have a look at here are going to be the new head sock. I think that's what it's called. Um, I think it's called an upgrade glove. This is the camo one. You can also get them in like a black and red and a shocking pink. I don't think I could pull the pink off. So we'll have a look at one of these. They've done things like it does the head adjust strap, so we'll get that out and have a look very quickly at that compared with the other one. It looks pretty similar, and Hobby King have already done a really good video explaining the differences between the two. So we're not going to dwell too much on that, apart from the fact we'll just test it out and see whether or not it's actually comfier to use. The thing we'll spend a bit more time with is this thing here. This is the actual add-on kit. Now in here you get loads of bits and pieces. You get a load of new lenses. These aren't Fresnel lenses. These are proper acrylic lenses, so that should improve the view slightly. I've never had a problem with the Fresnel lenses. Personally, I quite like them. I've got used to it, so it'll be interesting to see the difference between the two. Um, a load of bags to extend all of the power. We have a little uh, thing here to hold your battery so you can move the battery from having it in the front of your face uh, adding to the additional weight because that is the only downside with the V2s they are quite heavy and when you put your receiver and your battery and other bits in here it can be quite a weight on the front of your face which is why having the adjustable toss top strap on the new head sock um, is going to be helpful to help lift that because sometimes it can be pushing on the bridge of your nose so having this thing for the battery you can put it around the back is good we have an S-clip for the top. This is something that allows you to just take up a little bit of slack. Again, if you're gonna be buying the head sock as well, because these two things come separately, you probably wouldn't need this because you can use the um, adapters. There's a little adapter here that uh, changes the size of the plug. Then we have a new holder for the new lenses and loads of foam bits with some instructions at the bottom. Now, if you look online, if you go to the bottom of the pages for the Quantum DIY FPV Goggle V2 add-on kit, which is what we're looking at here, you'll notice that you have all this stuff that we've just looked at listed out. So at the very bottom, in the Files tab, there are two files. One of them is taking you to the manual that's actually at the bottom of this case box here, which is this thing, which is... Um, just telling you how to use it. But interestingly, they have also added an additional file as well. And that additional file is called the V2 Goggle Add-on Kit Monitor Adapter Insert. And this thing is talking about how you use all of these foam bits to actually move the monitor backwards. So it looks like a couple of people have had challenges with the focal length. So what they've done is also allowed you to move the monitor back. So rather than have it mounted internally inside the goggles here, it allows you to actually mount them on the back of it. So let's start taking these things apart, adding these bits on, and we'll see what difference all this new technology makes. The majority of the improvements seem to be around adjustability. So that little battery holder that we've just looked at is more for the original sock. So the first thing you'll notice is the actual top straps. And the original one, this was pretty set, which is why the S clip is there. And in this one, it's actually Velcro, so you can adjust it. That's going to help particularly people like me that have a slightly larger head, um, well, larger according to the people that design these anyway, get some of that comfort back. On the back of it as well, you can also see we've got the pouch. Now, the 
little battery pouch is designed to go somewhere on the strap here. On this one, you've um, you've got it already built in. The sides are Velcro on the new one, as opposed to these kind of straps. I don't have a problem with these kind of straps. I think they're pretty fine, but this for quick changes is great. There's also some nice elasticated pieces to route your cables through, stop them dangling all over your head. The other big change here, if we turn it over, is actually in the straps that go around the front. Now these again are velcroable, so this is going to be handy for those of you that need to mount the monitor a little bit further forward and actually mount it to the outside of the Quantum V2s for the depth of field so you can focus on the screen properly. This is what you're going to need if you're going to try and do that because you're going to struggle to get it outside. Um, these things are going to be kind of the edge of their limits. So we'll try it with a sock. So let's move on now to have a look at the lenses. Luckily, I only used tape when I built my Quantum V2s. So I'm gonna crack this clamshell apart. Let's try some of these lenses and see how they differ from the original Fresnel. It's really refreshing to see that everything has been clearly labeled in this pack. The original Fresnel lenses and stuff that came with the Quantums were very, very similar in magnification and I struggled to find the difference between them. Here we have the ones all nicely wrapped in tissue paper in 1.25 and 1.5x and you can back to back these if you want to play with them. So there's lots of combinations. So this is one of those things that I would probably try and spend a bit of time trying to make sure you can find one that fits. If you can't find one that you can then focus on easily is then go through those instructions in the manual and actually mount the screen just off the back of the goggles so there's a little bit more distance between the screen and these lenses. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start with 1.25, the single lens on its own, pop it into the cradle here and have a play and start working through. And I'll try other lenses and then when we come back I'll just have a quick chat about what I found looking through each of those and I'll double a couple of them up and see how it works. Now I have pretty good eyesight. As I'm getting older I'm getting very slightly longer sighted so I have to have things about um, 18 inches, 20 inches away from my face in order to read them comfortably. I can read things closer up but it's a bit more complicated. So I'm not at the point where I need glasses but that does mean that things are too close to me I struggle with. So let me see which ones feel comfortable and hopefully if you have similar vision it'll give you a clue where to start. So after a fun-filled 15 minutes, what I've done is I've tried each of the individual lenses out and hopefully you can see the difference in quality between the Fresnel lens and the new lens. The new lenses are a massive improvement, but then they should be. They're an awful lot heavier. Now I ended up actually writing on mine uh, the numbers for each of the lenses because I was getting confused which ones I had and what has ended up working for me but again I need the lenses right at the very front stop for this to work let me move that out of the way is uh, the other two lenses so the one and the 1.5 back to back uh, actually work really nicely and give a really clear image but again I'm kind of pushing the lenses up towards the front now in terms of the image itself is an improvement but not chalk and cheese so if you already have the Fresnel lens and you're happy with it then it might be an idea to uh, you know try it and see what you think the other reason to, to maybe just consider keeping with the Fresnel lens if I just weigh these the original Fresnel lens in the carrier is 19 grams the new two lenses that are working for me I'm going to be careful lying this down let me just put it a little bit of plastic okay so three grams of this weight is going to be plastic but the new lens is 124 grams it's actually 121 I just don't want to put that directly down and scratch any of the lenses so it is significantly heavier so although we do get an improved image we are putting a lot more weight out there over the end of our nose so now I've got that done I'm fortunate in that I don't need to mount the bits and pieces and the screen off the back of the goggles. Um, I thought I might do, I, I, it, I could probably get away 
with only having one of the lenses because the 1.5 was nearly enough for me to focus on it comfortably. I could focus on the screen but I could feel my eyes straining and if I was going to be flying for 20 minutes with uh, a quadcopter or something with FPV it, that just wouldn't cope with it. So that, like I said there is that way in the bits and pieces where you can, the manual, where you can actually mount this thing on the back. Um, I'm not going to do that. So last thing I'm going to do then is put it all together, let's put it in the new sock, come back and talk about both parts of this kit. So here it is all back together. Now I do like the sock. I really really think this is an improvement. The adjustability is fantastic. A couple of things I wish they'd done on the new sock that's kind of carried over from the others is the pouches on the side to hold things like your FPV receiver aren't big enough. There's some new FPV receivers out there that are a little bit bigger, that have things like diversity in them. Actually being able to mount those um, in a, a slightly larger pocket would have been a really sensible thing to do. I don't use really big batteries. And also I've uh, set my goggles up to use GST connectors, so I can't use all the extension cables that they very kindly included in the kit. The other thing as well, of course, is that a lot of the things that are in the upgrade kit only really apply if you're using the original sock. So if you have the original black sock, then things like the, the S-clip, so you can take off some of the slack from the top band if you have a smaller head, and also the battery holder, to put the battery holder at the back, is pretty useless if you're also going to invest in the newer sock as well as having the V2 upgrade kit. Now you will also need to add a little bit of foam around here. Um, with you being able to get this a little bit tighter on your face, it does mean that it will press on. So the additional foam pads and stuff that you get with the kit is gonna come in very handy. I haven't installed it on here, but I'm definitely thinking of it because that extra weight with the new lenses is making this very slightly uh, heavier and whereas with the acrylic lenses the Fresnel lens I could get away with it I um, don't think I'm going to for longer flights so hopefully that helps those of you that are looking at this and for me I'm very tempted to potentially replace my new lenses with the Fresnel ones just from a weight point of view the new outfit is really nice and a great improvement to the old one but I'm looking forward to see what the new V2 Pros look like when they come out from Hobby King. Because what I'm hoping is they start to work on reducing the weight of these things out in front of your face. Because they, they give the best picture of pretty much any goggle that I've ever tried. They do pull down a little bit. But at least now we have something that can take some of the strain off that with these adjustable straps. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.